Florida, Mr. Meek. Gentleman from Florida is recognized for such time as he may consume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the chairman, the ranking member, and all of the members that are co-sponsors on um, House Resolution uh, 1066. I can't tell you how important this resolution um, is going to be um, for our men and women that are in uniform, and not only those that are in armed services, Mr. Speaker, but those that are serving as urban rescue uh, personnel throughout this great country of ours. Uh, I can tell you, um, being the member of Congress that uh, got to Port-au-Prince uh, shortly after the event took place, um, seeing some of the loss of life um, that took place, uh, seeing some of the people that were in desperation because they were without shelter and um, under, under uh, blankets that they were using for tents, uh, seeing a number of um, uh, non-governmental organizations trying to uh, check their personnel, making sure that they're secure and, and rescue their personnel and help the Haitian people at the same time. But seeing our military stand up in a way, moving very fast, expeditiously um, to um, Haiti under the command of Southern Command, and also seeing a number of our, and that's including our Coast Guard that was one of the first on the scene. The urban rescue teams that came from not only L.A. County, Fairfa but Fairfax County in Virginia, Miami-Dade County, uh, New York City, and a number of other areas throughout this, throughout this great country of ours responded to the needs of the Haitian people. And I can tell you that it was a, a, a pour of love and, and outstanding work on behalf of our men and women. Um, Madam Speaker, I just want to say that um, I had a chance to, to go out with the urban rescue team from Miami-Dade County. There were some 40 individuals. They came recently and presented me with this helmet with all of the signatures on it um, just to, to um, tell them how much they appreciate the fact that we appreciate them for the work that they were able to do. But I watched these men and women um, from the South Florida area work 20 hours saving lives, uh, saved not only a a two-year-old little girl um, and reunited her with her father, but there are a number of those a number of those kinds of stories that are scattered in the work that our men in uniform, men and women in uniform, have done as it relates to saving lives throughout Haiti, but also uh, as it relates to our first responders that are our urban rescue teams that one of the one of the, the, one of the best units um, in on the face of this uh, in, on the face of this earth. And I'm glad, Mr. Chairman, Chairman Skeldon, you and the ranking member um, took the time to allow us to bring this bill to the floor, 1066, to let those individuals know how much we appreciate them, those that are in armed services, those that are our first responders, those that are in the, in the recovery process in Haiti right now. And being from Florida, Madam Speaker, I can tell you that the international response to Haiti is key. It was kicked off by many of our uh, men and women in uniform and those that are first responders. It's an international response now, and it's very important um, that we can in that period. With that, Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to thank you, the ranking member. I want to thank you and all of the members that signed on to this bill to let these men and women know how much we truly appreciate their help and also their family sacrifice for allowing them to serve our country and be goodwill ambassadors in a time the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere needed us most. Thank you. Are you